This is John T for the Boxing Voice and I'm joined this evening by light middleweight British prospect Kieran Conway. We recently had you on a couple of weeks ago but just popped in to say hi. How are you mate? All good, all good. Um, thank you for coming down. No, it's, uh, no worries. Pleasure. Good stuff. Well look, last time I saw you we were talking about some previous fights and upcoming fights. Uh, any news yet that you might have a fight coming? I do have a fight mm -hmm. um, set in. I um, can't say too much about it yet because it's not been announced, etc, etc. Um, but it's May, I'm really, really excited. I've been training um, all year, I've been waiting um, for a big opportunity. It's a massive opportunity. Um, they'll say I'm the underdog, I'm going there to win. I'll say nothing else but um, me coming away victorious. That's a good teaser, that, mate, because when they say that uh, you'll be the underdog, um, it means it should be a good level of opposition. So we'll look forward to an announcement on that. Um, before I move on a little bit more about yourself, you've got Ethan James. He's one of your stable mates. He's out this weekend on a big BT card. Uh, what can we expect from Ethan? I've just had an interview with him myself. He's 4-0. Lots of noise about him. A really decorated amateur career. Yeah, massive amateur career. Um, I believe it's the best from this town, definitely. But it's a real good... Um, amateur career and I'm sure he's going to take that on into the pros as well as good fire um, very skillful flashy likes to show off a little bit he's, uh, just coming up through the ranks so I think it's his fifth fight coming up um, he is going to do big things as a pro and uh, it's, going to, it's very entertaining to watch as well with that flashy slick style that he's got Mm, well, I've been impressed with him what I've seen so far so we'll look forward to the weekend we'll look back to your division like middleweight so I know you can't give too much away about the fight yet it's great to hear that you're coming out what were your thoughts at the weekend on Fowler um, he was on a matchroom card on Saturday night come through victorious it performed well it was, it was good there was um, glimpses of um, good things and there was glimpses of very very poor things um, I'm not one to hide, uh, hide what I'm saying, I'll say how I feel. Um, I wasn't impressed. Um, very much same, same with Fowler. Um, I don't see nothing to be ducking and diving, but I've got things um, that I've got to focus on, and uh, I'll just focus on me for now. It's a silly question, but if that fight was to come along, would you be happy to take that? Yeah. Um, it's been mentioned before. I've not. All I'm going to say is I've not ducked away, shied away, one bit. Um, I'm not ducking anyone. If people, like people will say that. People will go on there and say, "Oh, he's he pulled out of this fight." Pulled up. Um, but I have my reasons. And if I've got a different opportunity to take and it's better, I'll take that. Um, people know that boxing's a business. And mm -hmm. you've got to think business-wise too. You've got to think about yourself. I don't care about anyone else. I'm focusing on me. I think to be fair mate, you're in that category with all of them, I can name a few, the next one I'm going to move on to now, this weekend um, on the matchroom card, the same night as the BT1, Saturday night, you've got Cheeseman and Metcalf, uh, Fowler being at that level yourself, Fitzgerald, who do you think wins that fight on Saturday and why? I think Cheeseman wins, um, I, do, I think he's very adaptable, um, people see him as a bit of a one trick pony but he is adaptable, he is a good boxer. Um, but I think he wins. I think he's a little bit more more witty in the ring than people think. Um, Cheeseman gets that win, in my opinion. Performs well, looks good, and um, maybe me and Cheeseman get it on again soon. Mm, good stuff. And just one last one. I know it's a slight weight below you, but recently I, I understand that you've sparred both Josh Kelly and Avanesian, I think. Yeah. What was your take on the night on the fight? Did you expect that outcome? To be honest, I, I did think that Josh was going to win, um, but it's boxing. He got he got he got caught with a good shot in combination. David is a tough, tough man. Um, hits hard, hits viciously, and he took his opportunity. Um, but Tro Josh is also a very good fighter. Um, taking nothing away. That, that loss don't mean anything. It don't it don't mean much to him. All he's done is go go away and learn from that fight. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a good fight as well, a really insane fight, a really high level, top class fight. 
yeah, who knows, Josh might step up in weight now and that might be a future opponent of yours, that's what we asked. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Well, look, we'll let you get back to training, mate. Good luck with the camp and we look forward to seeing an announcement soon for your fight in hopefully May. Nice, I'm excited to let everyone know. Cheers, Kieran, all the best, mate. Cool. Thank you for enjoying the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace